Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 21 Guys I am so excited for this episode today because here this is the first episode in which we are really going to start unraveling lore which is uh, well it, that is the goal of this series to unravel as much lore as we can so with that being said just a quick disclaimer before we start it's the I am going to apologize for um, the vast amount of save and load that, that I'm gonna do, especially on throws and stuff like that. Because as well as as I've been telling since episode one, this series is meant to explore as much lore as we can throughout the whole game. And for that, uh, sometimes I'm gonna need to roll pretty high. And if I don't do that, lore kind of goes dismissed. So, yeah, just that to explain really quick. And we are going to get going today. Last episode, we made it to the crash, to this crash. And, well, we saw that over there, there is one egg alone. This is where all the eggs, uh, I think those checks are for traps, quite frankly. So, we want to do something. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go on my own in case there is any traps. Uh, before that, should probably cast guidance or something. So, let's get going. And yeah, today we're gonna have a lot of that that I've been promising for 20 episodes. Not all it's been bad, has it? Uh, I failed all the perceptions, so I really hope. Oh, we saved that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's jump like that, maybe. Okay, we're safe. What is this guy saying? Do not approach the egg, Istik. It is strictly forbidden. All right, all right. Don't, don't worry about it. This hatchery is a place of solemn duty and care. No one approaches an egg without my permission. Still, I suppose a guest in our crash can be allowed some understanding. What brings you to my hatchery? Very well. To steal the egg? No, ob obviously not. Uh, we killed that lady, by the way. I don't know if you guys remember, but we killed a lady from, well, an old woman from the Society of Brilliance, I think. Um, I went to see the hatchery. I didn't expect it to look so empty. Almost all of the eggs in its clutch have hatched. We await only one more, which oh. is taking its time. <clears throat> Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. Ah, uh, well, that's wholesome now for a gift. Come on, little one. Come on now. I don't have time to parent you as well. What do you want now? Let's see. Uh, let me help. I can take it somewhere safe. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have. A couple of, uh, what do you call it, inspiration, but this is the reason why I need to save a lot in this episode. You guys won't see any load screen or repeat, but yeah, we need to get some things off the lore as well. This can help. Shit. You. What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? So, yeah, uh, the thing is obviously, if the, if, if the egg doesn't hatch, they would probably dismiss it, destroy it, something like that. It's quite Spartan, as you might have uh, learned by now, this Gith Yankee. Uh, 
I reset if I reset as if it were my own flesh and blood. Can you actually That's do that? What I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. Wow. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Very well. He gave us... Uh... Boots. Acidic surfaces don't affect you. Okay. There's a couple of barrels over there. Nothing much, it seems. Let's go. I'm gonna damage myself. Oh, this place is full of traps and not... Wow. Failed everything. It has literally nothing. Investigation of that would have been cool. A large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Uh, touch it for the moment. The egg is warm to the touch. The rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. Uh, crush it, no. Pick it up and put it in your pack. Very well, we got the egg. Strange gas. Do you say anything else? You've got the egg, haven't you? <clears throat> Be on your way then. Before I change my mind. Very well, very well. Don't worry about it. So, with the boots, we can also see the traps, it seems. There they are. I knew it was going to be one of them like that. Oh, and Lysel wants to talk. Nice. Let's see what this is about. Oops. An unhatched Githyanki egg should be the burden of a Vash, not a warrior, whether ascended or otherwise. And yet, I'm drawn to the warmth of it. A child of Gith and a servant of Vlakith grows within. Keep it close. She likes it. Perhaps in our care, it might yet hatch. And don't you dare pass it to that lunatic woman prowling the mountain pass. Oh, yeah, that woman we killed. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, guys, it seems like uh, I am a father now. Well, I'm a mother, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's odd. Well, can he actually... I don't know this, uh, by the way. Can he actually hatch? Can I raise it or something? Let's see this. This message has been inscribed in the common tongue. Uh, a new patch is arriving soon. If you are still holding out hope for the hatching of that final egg, give up. If it can hatch on its own, it, it's not worthy of joining our ranks. Destroy it and move on. So there you go. Exactly what I, what I said. But yeah, here we've got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Look at that guy cleaning. <laughs> oh god. So we can go a few a few places. There's an infirmary we need to reach and um I reckon there's a few things over here I'm not entirely sure where. I cannot see that. I am interested to uh, interested to see the training initiation sort of room that was here. They're kicking down this guy. Stop this insufferable whining. Yeah. 
Can I talk to him? Kachoki! We are training to fight Gank. You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them. It's stupid. Oh. He, Silence. He's rebelling. It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. Also, he. You fight again. He was about to say this Orpheus. Time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to, the to death. challenge this sniveling Istark? Okay. Uh. Stand back and release on the blood show. Persuasion. Just while he's learned his lesson. Hopefully it's not too high. Shit. Ah. Saving now. Nice. I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <laughs> Yikes. Go at the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a gake's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield, Istik. Very well. You are well on your way to being gake food. Can I no say anything better. else to him? What is it? These insufferable interruptions are distracting from my lessons. Reprehensible. Uh, why make them fight to the death? Our wars are waged against Gaik, not bandits and petty thieves. The slightest mistake, the smallest hesitation, and you die. The warrior next to you dies, a hundred more behind them. So we ensure that in our ranks, there are no mistakes. I wouldn't expect an istic to understand. On this plane, inadequacy is expected. You're balding, by the way. This place is enlightening. My own crash, Kalea, is remote and sunless, cloaked in the silence of wild space. My Savage would find this one altogether too genial. Genial. Uh, actually, with a single egg, how many does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Okay. Though I've learned of crashes that harbored a hundred. Wow. I have never learned, however, of a Vash obsessed with a late egg survival. You think you look quite humanoid. How did you evolve to like eggs? Ah, oh, that's cute. That's uh, interesting. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Okay, okay. <laughs> Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. Oh. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> Carlock's there like, yeah, you got a point. Uh, who was the lane? I'm curious about the logistics. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. Ah, the how convenient. When and where they must lay and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Ah. Uh, Go on then. Can I... Uh, I'm just gonna check if there is anything else uh, we can do now. No. Oh, okay. The training room was illuminating. Are gate instructors always so brutal? My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. Oh. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Uh... 
Uh, is life not precious to the Githyanki? Not every life is equal. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. Their lives were not precious. They were a blight that required expunging. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith Devensir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Right, yeah, uh... Yeah, pretty Spartan. Ah, oh, this is the guy. Look, he's 3 HP. That was amazing. Uh, I've never seen someone talk the Savage down from a rage like that. This one is not so Spartan. He's always telling us how we have to be ruthless. That death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... You showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... Never mind. Like what? Pay up, lol. Uh, just like who? If uh, if there is a like-minded soul here, I'd love to meet them. Yeah, like who, dude? Oh, difficult throw. Okay. I speak of Orpheus. Of Orpheus, the true prince. He's so strong and and wise, and he rides a comet. <laughs> a comet. We've read about him. We're forbidden to talk about him. They say Vlakith knows if you even think his name. I found his book. Part of it anyway. I read it all the time. He's unbelievable. Now this one doesn't seem like too uh, stoic. It uh, seems like a yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, that's why it was drawn in the portrait. He comment. I bet it was this guy who drew it. Uh, where do you get this book? A group of warriors came, outsiders, on a mission for Vlakith herself. Savage Kethk made us clean their armor and I found it inside one of the breastplates wish I knew who it belonged to I have so many questions hopefully one day I'll find them uh can I have it oh let's have well, a look but I, I I surely we can give it back or something uh borrow it from me I hand it over should I tell your captain you endanger yourself by carrying this around. It must, uh, it must be disposed of. Uh, well, I guess this is the only ch uh, choice we've got. I've got a lot of persuasion, so. Fine. Take it. It's so stupid, we can't read it. It's just a story. It's not even true. I'll do my best to forget what it said. Or is it? Thank you for taking it. Or is it now, lads? Let's see. So, this is the one we found in the Underdark. Prince of the Comet Part 1. We're gonna read it uh, to make a recap. Uh, praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. So, it was that we were free from the Gage shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Black Gith would have, uh, would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Black Gith sacrificed the great mother of Tiamat. Uh, the prize for the dragons are Githraki, now right. But Gith had m a nurtured son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew uh, Black Gith's treachery. Uh, knew his mother's sacrifice, he rail, uh, rallied Keith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. He got really nervous when reading out loud. It's like a child reading. Uh, and this is the, the one he gave us. 
Uh, this stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into common tongue. The prince of the comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. The red dragons below with uh, righteous anger. And the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Black Gith. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Black Gith's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Voss. Remember that name, lad. Voss. Uh, I cannot pronounce that. You're still Kithrak. Lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, my beloved Orpheus was gone. Why are these things prohibited? If they are all just stories, indeed. Well, I don't need to keep doing that, do, do I? You already... You guys already know what's going on here. So yeah, that was quite interesting. That's one of the things I wanted to get. Now, not entirely sure. Let's see over there. Now that's where we come from, isn't it? Not? Oh. I can explain. The latest batch of cultists is a knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight. Chitrai, we could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us. Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. Vargas. For now. So those guys are... Eh, uh, well... Dragon Riders. Like the one we met at the... When living Act 1, basically, and I think, I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember, but I think it's, um... The one Dragon Rider we met before living Act 1 is Voss. And it would seem he's some sort of a paladin or Blackith. We have a few things to go here. We are gonna go to the infirmary, and I, I would advise attention because, well, whenever I, I advise attention, is because something is gonna happen. So keep that in mind. Seen stealing. Ow. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. Oh yeah, no, drop it. With your Eight. prize discarded, the matter can rest. Shit. I didn't know what was being seen. Well, this is the infirmary. Oh, let's close it here. They're practicing the, the mage hand. There's a few things over here. Oh, these are dormitories. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. This is one of the things we saw. Parasite. Take it. It might be useful. There is a dream visitor uh, asking us to take those parasites. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Yeah, those look well better conserved than the ones we've encountered before. Gustil Stornagos. I don't know how to pronounce that. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. 
Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of Gith, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Oh. Now we should probably let Lazel do this. Lazel, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Zaythisk. I will ensure you are cured. Uh... Zaythisk. The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly, now. Time is of the essence. Well, the the right thing to do would be to do it with lace cell. And the disclaimer at the beginning will become clear now because the, this is when we are gonna be trying to dig as many answers as we can. But very well, supposedly this machine it's why it's going to uh, heal us, remove the tadpole or whatever. You can see this uh, woman has uh, a lot of mind flare related stuff. So yeah, let's get it. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathisk, Vlakith's purity distilled. My duty, my right. Yeah, go ahead. Praise Vlacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Yeah, this does not look like a healing device. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. There is no chance she will survive. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? It's most certainly not. So here's where the save the safe comes in place because well the game is gonna tell you once and again to take her out of there because this is not healing her and we are going to have to push this as far as we can you will see why but just so you know that's why I'm doing it just wanted you to know so uh Endure it. The cure is worth the torment. You share in Lazel's agony. Every cell within her skull 
bursts into a constellation of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. Yes, child. Jamar Zala Blackit called to your queen. <gasps> My queen! Hear me! That thing's killing her! Your vision narrows. You sense myriad specters of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Githyanki past. Uh... The device is changing you, you are becoming anything. Keep focus. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. I mean, I'm not sure if I should. No. Not yet. Yes. We have to keep pushing yes. a little bit. Relieve me, Flacken! Yes, child. Face her will. You marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain, a new sensation rises. Power. Power. Power, guys. What is this about? The dream visitor telling us to remove her. Okay. Uh, your tadpole's changing, growing. You have to resist the machine. Uh, try to overload the device. Constitution pursue the visions you saw. See where they lead. Arcana. Look at this. Draw the draw on the uh, safe sisk shit. <laughs> Power, take it as your own. Take it as your own. This is what we wanted to get, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna make a little more sense later on. Uh, just to, for you to keep in mind and remember. So yeah, look at that. It's a thirty, so I need a critical. That's why I have. We need to get this. We need to get this. So I'm gonna be rolling here, and you're just gonna see a cut when we get it. That's pretty usual. Let's see what's the first one though. That's really nice, guys. Yeah, I'll see you when we get the, the, the critical. Whoa, that was second try. That was not bad. Okay, that was a uh, 5% lads. Planes of existence stretch before you, then coalesce. You are gifted. You are cursed. Enough. Yep. Damn it all! The parasite. I still feel it. I am Githyanki. I will not be gay. My life's work gone, and yet she lives. She lives. And so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. So here's the thing, lads. Um. Well, she really exclamated that she lives. This machine, this whatever. It's not to cure, obviously. We already know that. So what happens is, this is protocol imposed by Blackith. Anyone that is infected is to go here. And what happens is that they are killed, obviously. And their memories and their whole knowledge goes to her to, preser to help her preserve her powers and, and, and stuff. And a little something I, I thought you might need to know. But yeah, interesting, you know, like, there is no cure, however, this is protocol imposed by Flaketh. So we're gonna do deception here, obviously. And the reason why I'm doing saves is because we are going to need the, the um, inspiration at some point. So, deception, you're wrong. Can you see, can you see it in her eyes? The parasite is dead. Why? Because if she knows that the parasite is alive what happens is that all the githyanki in this area are gonna start fighting like everyone really then all this destruction was a symptom of its power <sighs> incredible 
I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, the problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. Very well. No! I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! Incredible. Your parasite is even stronger now. Even stronger now. This is because of the arcana check. What we just did. The reason why we were pushing this thing so much. If we go here, here. So uh, these are all the buffs we got, like Bolo's eyes and the the hair of Auntie Ethel, and this awakened passive feature. You can use all of your elitist powers as a bonus action. You're resistant to the uh, safe disk in the Yithyank Infirmary. Awaken this power. So this is what we were trying to get. And of course a little bit of uh, insight on what this machine does. At some point it said uh, you were able to connect or see some of the some of ancient Githyanki uh, people. Because all their minds and the collective goes there. Uh, parasite brimming with magic. Take it. To black its domain basically and the dream visitor still tell us to to steal those specimens Focus. Focus. whatever let's talk now i followed protocol i kept to my faith yet the safest might have killed me someone must have tampered with it an aberrance i can't begin to comprehend uh who could have tampered with the device You, uh, you've held on longer? No, that's, uh... There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zaphisk's tampering. Very well. So... Uh, I really think we should take the parasites because uh, we, we, cause we might parasite. even take have it. use for it. it. Might be useful. The thing is, I don't know if she's gonna notice. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, because she can't see me there, can she? I mean, let's uh, let's try. Let's try at least. I I know I said at the beginning we were not we were gonna resist all of this, but the the, tr the truth is they don't even. It's not that much of a difference, quite frankly. Uh, when it comes to fights or whatever, especially in balance. Okay, so now the thing is to to steal the last one over there. This one. I wonder if I can I can do something like this. Go on. You've been caught oh. mid robbery. Your next move had best be a careful one. I really don't know what happens if you choose that one let's see whole thing what was taken was yours because it doesn't depend on anything it's just an option you aren't as intimidating as you oh, okay you're being attacked well let me let me see something okay the door is closed maybe we can just take her out and <laughs> and whatnot wait where is she Ah, they here. Mm. Firebolt. Whoa! Look at that. Did not expect that one. I am fury. I am death. Uh. 
Okay. Not too bad. So we've got... Oh my god, apologies. I'm losing my voice. We got three more specimens in case we want to go that road. We got six now, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe seven. We got the books, the Yankee books. <clears throat> apologies. Uh, hopefully... Oh, infirmary key. Few supplies. Uh, Hunter's amulet. Advantage on intelligence, saving throws. Oh, okay. Thank you, short sword. Well, probably can take that. This thing is one of them explosive things from episode one. Just gonna send it to camp in case we need more um, explosives and whatnot. Uh, Laser had one. Because she kept it from episode 1. I think it's in camp as well. Yeah. So. A lot we have learned. And a lot it's there to be learned today still. So let's get moving. We already have a little bit of an idea. What's going on. So basically. Massive chance of Blackith being. Hmm. Um, Cam God, something like that. So let's see. Some more, a uh, few more things to do, it seems. To the Inquisitor. Yeah, we are gonna get doing that as well. Is he here? Talk to the captain of the Githyanki Critch. So that's the that's the girl that got scolded by another Kithrak, I think. Yeah, there she is. Uh, so yeah. Attention here as well. There's a few things. Let's see. Oh she's not frightened. One of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. Their weapon is their their artifact, obviously. I think I have what you're looking for. As you is with your inquisitor, there's a traitor among us. Uh, I was granted entry by your sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. Any other description? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You sense Shadowheart's worry. Mm. This weapon sounds like the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know oh, something. Oh shit! Do you have it? Don't know anything about it. What you were looking for? Well, we can do that either way, I think. Let's see, how, let's see what happens. We, we may be loath. It's a critical again. I'm wasting all my luck in this. Then stop wasting my time, Istic. Oh, the wolves. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? No, 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 no. I'm here to the place. Uh, I will be back on my search immediately. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. So the thing, lads, it's I think we can actually get 
I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty handed. We can give it to her. So, give me the weapon. She still doesn't get it, so we might proceed that way. Uh so Shadowheart's not gonna like this, but we're gonna do it to uh, to see what happens. I sincerely hope you know what you're doing. Shimar's a lot of luck. Give it to me. Produce. No. No. Oh, that's the dream visitor. Yes. There it is. Exactly as described. The Inquisition will finally come to an end. Spice! See? Trickery? Heresy? How did you... You manipulate it when I cannot? It appears you have been chosen, Istic. You are lucky. It is not for me to question why. Go! Seek the Inquisitor below, and take the cursed thing with you. Right, there we go. That's what I want. Uh, what I want to see, just to not miss it. So the way to the Inquisitor is over here. And by the way, one of our goals. Right now, it's try to get Lacel to. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Well, to see for herself. Do you think this inquisitor person is really going to help? The whole thing going with bl uh, Blackith. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. No time to dally. Which is gonna be difficult because she is, uh, well. Lysel is basically a paladin, like she is uh, sworn to the Never to the queen. Moment. Questions nothing, doubts nothing. But yeah, that's one of our goals here as well. In the time being, we're gonna be pushing this as far as we can, just to keep getting answers. Oh, we all level up. Well, we're gonna do the thing when shard levels. So this is the Inquisitor. Our esteemed guest. The one that scolded the other Kithrak. Much to discuss. Indeed. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Geek slave vessel. Try. Vlakith's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. No. The, the reason why this is unraveling like this is one, because oh, we obviously don't want Lacell to depart from the party. We have been not listening to the Dream visi uh, Visitor just to get to this point, so. Uh. So yeah, basically I think it's going to happen the same thing. Like I'm going to give it to him and it's going to come back. Just in case, let's do this. Um... Perhaps you should leave the thinking to me, Istik. Hand over the weapon. Very well. So yeah, just so you know, if you're following this as a path or something, if you... If you just... Um, turn turn on them and start fighting and whatever Lacell's gonna side them at this point and she's gonna leave the party you're gonna have to kill her or something so yeah <clears throat> it's getting complicated so with the with the dream visitor 
goodness. My queen. Skarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to me. The deathless queen has spoken. You will obey. As, uh, as we uh, just told you, you cannot um, you cannot play funny with this one because Lacell is gonna leave. So, Neil, these attendants you keep, you taught them well, my child. My laser. Chma Zala Vlaketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Achaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istik, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? We gotta keep playing it, so. I didn't take the weapon from you, but I am returning it. An unexpected servant. Your will is strong. Your kind will go far for glory. As you have shown by being here. Extend your fealty one step further. And you will be rewarded beyond your mortal. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone Attention. inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design. Sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Enlithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this! And ascend! Ascension? My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. You must accept. Refuse. And you will know my fury. Yeah. So, but, by the way guys, obviously we are not doing it. We are not gonna do that. But we are going to keep playing it. Oh yeah, and just uh, as, a, as a fun fact, because I'm not gonna do it just because I don't want to save and load. I think you guys don't want to see that. If you choose this option, well, you all die. <laughs> Your entire party dies. I will do as you wish. Yeah, a lot of disapproval. Disapproval. Creatures lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. Beware the creatures lying tongue. Rewargas, they are not to leave until it is done. As you say, my queen. Shma Zalav lacketh. We will not waste a second. Vlaketh has spoken. Do not leave this room except to enter the prism. Turn your back on me, and you will feel my blade against it. Very well. <clears throat> so we have accepted to kill whatever is in here, which you might have guessed by now. It's a... Uh, the dream visitor. Don't do it! And that, that's a visitor telling us to not. Which complicates things a bit. But you'll see why we're doing this. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower.
This is really cool, by the way. Oh. The concentration of psionic force is small but unmistakable. This must be a pocket of the astral plane. Very well. Boundless. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Very well. We've come here before, just so you know. If you've been following the series so far... Uh, oh yeah, and we have the... The... Astral Plane Gravity. There we go. We're all level 7. Let's do that before we keep going, because it's uh, it's been uh, quite a chunk of uninterrupted story uh, telling. It's been good. So, level 7. Uh, we got all the aura. You and any nearby fiends and undead gain an additional 3 to the damage dealt with melee weapons. The aura disappears if you fall unconscious. That it's a good reminder of what I want to talk about because it turns out, or it seems, this class of the old breaker paladin can be some sort of necromancer at some point, which is quite interesting. Uh, we get the banishment school. Right, yeah. Not much to see in this level, but we are um, up to level 8, I think. It's when a lot of the builds are gonna change for real. Battle Instinct. Uh, to initiative, and can be surprised. Nice. Additional key point evasion. Uh, if you're charm or frightened, you automatically uh, automatically cast stillness of mind to remove the condition. Nice. And spells we're gonna change anything just yet. Right. Let's keep on going. So from here is where we go to whatever the mission is to kill this foul tongue liar. But, if you pay attention here, there is quite a few death, uh, dead gith, dead gith yankee. Let's have a look. Potion of healing. See, there's one over there too. That's what they're fighting, by the way. Or where they are fighting, basically. Inscribe the uh, Githyanki slate. Uh, the slate's faded symbols are hard to distinguish, let alone decipher. The drawings etched underneath them, however, are plain to see. They depict a dragon soaring above two individuals, one standing tall, the other kneeling. A circle is drawn around them, a fuzzy tail trailing behind, they are riding a comet. So, there is two gif, one of them is kneeling in front of the other, and they are in a, in a comet, in a comet. So, as far as I'm concerned, the, pro the probability of who they are, it's uh, most likely Voss. This uh, this sort of um, I don't know elite soldier of black Earth. or it could be, and the other one could be obviously Orpheus, the one from the tales. And this is starting to unravel, and it's really good. Okay. There is not much else to see really, so we are gonna get going. We could really go like all the way over there, but it's not relevant. I get going here. 
to the mission ahead. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Oh. Disappointing. She's disappointed, but she doesn't oh, know our real we will talk in private. intentions. Just the two of us. Uh, I'm not leaving without. Uh, I'm not leaving my companions behind. Suit yourself. But only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. If it must be so, it must be so. Do not fail me. Do not fail us. Let's go. The I visitor. I made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Everyone always thinks I want to murder them. I just want to talk, which is truth. We didn't come here with the intention of uh, following Blackett's orders. Very well. What do you want to know? Well, uh, why does Blackett want you dead? Blackett wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great, that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this, what reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you, freedom. I'm on How about your that? side. I have been since the very beginning. She knows Blackett's secret, she says. That is very interesting. If she wants you there, she can kill yourself. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's mention that a little bit. So, this secret is so big that it could like just send all her reign to shit, basically. That is super fucking interesting. Get up, you won't die today. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Blacketh will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Yeah, the thing is, how do we do? How do we deal now with Laisel? Like, as I said, our goal is to see the truth by herself. Like, to make her see that by herself, not to, I don't know, use the, the roles or whatever. Uh, what could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? If you're such a threat to her, why hasn't she killed you already? Uh, Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Blackith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Blackith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. Uh, what's the power? A logical question. But you're not ready for the answer. 
I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. Be warned. The Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the Kresh will join him. Good luck. Oh. Think. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Uh, okay. I'm not going to kill them. They protect us from the absolutes. Uh, the thing is, I don't. Rem I don't really know how to proceed from here. Quite frankly, let's do this. So, uh, we can do this. I learned a few things. Your queen is lying to you. I'm not going to kill them. They protect us from the absolute. Let's try that one first. Blasphemy! She warns you not to trust the one inside. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Entrance. So yeah, the Inquisitor out there is going to have a skill now that the the one inside is not dead. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. I see only only madness. Vlakith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the great mother Gith. We must go to the Chirai. He will summon Vlakith. She must know of this. This apostate! You just don't learn, do you? To the crash. Now. To the crash. Yep. Now. Nothing else to do. So now we get out, obviously. Because we didn't fulfill the mission, they're gonna have us killed. I would I like to share a few more lines with uh, Laysel before leaving this place. Laysel, I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. Bend your head, for my blade is ready. Right, please. Summon Vlakith. There's much... Irrelevant, Gake wretch. The Queen has spoken. Your death is decreed. You realize what Lazel doesn't? Whatever the outcome of your visit to the Astral Prism, Vlakith had no intention of letting either of you live. Precisely. Crush, Yilik. That was With the plan all along. To the death. Very well. This guy is the strongest, I think. Yep. Let's get on with it. Easy as. Nice. Oh, parry. Mm, oh, I am not on the distance? Nice. Inactive. Right. Because I don't want... I don't want him to hit her. Okay, not too bad. Okay, that was a lot. I meant this one, lol. Very well. Mm. 
Come on, shot. Wait. Don't miss it. Ah, oh, path, path is interrupted. Is that a matter of perspective? Yeah. Come on. Oh, I hit myself. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Mistakes have been made, lads. Our paladin is about to die. Look at him. What a fucking joke. Very good at telling lore and shit, but when it comes to fighting, huh? Holy shit. Wait, is it the candelabra? Yeah, I think it is. Got it. I'm glad you came to your senses. Now leave before the others come for us. We're on it. I am fury. I am death. Oh, yeah, true. I forget that you can parry. First attack or something like that. It is this that guy there? I'm down. That is just a joke, by the way. This me being there. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, it is this guy and that one. Wasn't there another one? Come on, don't, don't miss it. Okay. Saved. Ouch. You take care of this one. And hopefully I can make uh, that throw. There we go. Uh, okay, we want interaction there. Let's help me. Nothing hurts anymore. <laughs> that was Id idiotic. Okay, come here. have wielded your fury as a blade roared your wrath as a dragon you promised ascension yet i crawl among my own people low as an asp's belly Shkaget! i followed your path what good this heart of stone for it to be shattered She tests me. Goodness, a uh, of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. Ah, oh, goodness. You're an enemy of your people now. You need to accept that. Silence. I must think. Oh my god. Let's see. Uh well this can be useful. For another build. Just pick up everything and see if we can <laughs> look at that. Oh, sorry for disturbing your ears, guys. I realized <laughs> how weird of a noise that was, but look. <laughs> oh, it's insane. 
A uh, potion of angelic slumber. Try two turn slumber unless interrupted. You gain a, the benefits of a long rest. Oh. A lot of. Uh, circlet of Zion re uh, Revenge. Uh, you know what? Let's put that on laser. Assume nothing. This is uh succeed saving throw. Uh the foe that I uh, cost the throw takes one to four psychic damage. Githian kills again a plus one bonus to intelligence wins wisdom and charisma saving throws. Okay. No one stopped me yet. But yeah, we've learned a lot today. We've also learned that... Well, Laisel is not going to give up her soul, uh, her faith, too quickly. Conduit ring. What is this? Hmm... Okay. But yeah, you cannot longer say that this is not a lore series because we are getting there, you know? It's uh I knew it was gonna be a long journey. But I'm certain that's gonna pay off. Like the story has a way of unraveling itself uh by, by itself. But when you do this that I'm doing and you pick your path carefully, it becomes just so interesting and appealing to see in that manner. So the thing I would like to point out is that um, the builds... Uh, surpassing level 8, uh, they're gonna change a lot. Like, that's where we are going to start seeing a lot of stuff. Remember that we got Astarion, we got Will as well. We are going to be seeing all the story behind them. Do not worry if that's what you were waiting for. But yeah. This is what I meant when I... This episode is a perfect example of what I want to do with this series just so you know we've learned a lot today and uh yes surpassing the little disclaimer at the beginning to for saving throws and that the episodes that have a lot of lore or every time we do something that it's lore unraveling and storytelling uh, centered episode it is going to be like that so shorter episode than usual but full of stuff I really, really appreciate it that you made it to the end of the video. Really thankful. Remember, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.